What's up, Aries? This is going to be your love reading for the month of December, okay? This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, you guys. <clears throat> okay. What just flipped before I even started shuffling was the King of Cups, and that is coming to terms um, with your own emotions and just being stable and grounded within your emotions, being able to control yourself um, if need be, okay? Let's see what's going on for Aries, past, present, and future positions. You guys, this reading is not going to resonate for everyone, but my hope is to reach as many of you um, that need to hear a message as I can, okay? If it does not resonate for you, the message was not meant for you, so please don't try to make it fit. If you need something more um, personalized, then you guys can hit me up. Go to my website at pinkarianjim.com and um, you can get a reading there. All right. So here we go, guys. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs for the month of December. What we got going on for Aries here? Aries. Five of Cups. Four of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Three of Coins. Two of Cups. Queen of Wands. King of Coins, Six of Cups, Let's see if I can move this a little bit here so you guys can see all the cards, let's see. Gotta move this camera back a little bit, guys. Hang on one second. Uh oh, sorry. Move we'll me back a little bit. Okay. I think that's good. All right. Last card we have is the Wheel of Fortune. And I see a pattern, like, I see things progressing for you for sure okay so in the past position we have the five of cups here and it looks like you are thinking about um, something that affected you heavily emotionally in the past and as I say that we have the king of swords that jumps out could have possibly been an air sign um, that affected you or either these are qualities that um, you were exhibiting. We have the Empress there trying to to build something with this person. You felt like, you know, you guys were meant to be, I feel like here. And you really were trying to build and start on something um, here with this king of swords because the empress is you representing you know starting a new business starting a new relationship maybe just even going down a different path that's what you saw for yourself um and dealing with this relationship and i feel like you guys together it was like you were a dynamic duo here with the six of wands could have been a leo that you were dealing with um but something happened here with this person that that makes made you feel like you 
have lost something, like you had a felt a major loss, I feel like here. Because in order for you to have felt so victorious in this relationship, and, and people probably saw you guys as like, you know, this wow couple here, okay? And it looks like you were happy. I see the Ten of Cups, the Judgment, um, the Nine of Wands. You were you were fighting for this this connection at one point in time, in the past, and um, so now, or in the past, you know, you were very dis distraught over this, very very distraught over this, and you needed to take a time out here with the Four of Swords. Take some time out to kind of reflect on um you know the situation at hand that's that's what you were doing doing what your heart spoke to you to do using your intuition to to really take an inventory of what was going on what was really going on in the relationship i feel like and what it was that you really wanted here with the high priestess and the seven of cups clarifying the four swords it's like you really just needed to look inside yourself and see what it was that you really wanted out of life you know what you really what really suited you after the loss of this relationship here okay you also have the three of coins here in your past position which is you know working with somebody trying to build with somebody so i feel like you know here in the past position that you know there were things that you felt like even though you 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 felt like you were maybe the d dynamic duo there were things that you felt like both of you guys um did that you know caused the demise of the relationship and now you're realizing what it is to work together with somebody here with the eight of swords, <clears throat> excuse me, and the hanging man. You know, you're kind of doing like a self inventory here. So I see the progression here in the past bringing you towards the present moment here because, you know, in the past you were thinking about all these different things that you know, that the other person did wrong, that you did wrong to bring about the demise of the relationship. You felt really, really betrayed, but I get the feeling that both of you probably felt betrayed for different reasons. And I think this is an energy that is shared between the two of you with this Eight of Swords. Like, both of you are kind of taking this moment of self-reflection to see what it is that, you know, that that brought down the foundation of this relationship to where it needs to be built back up and it doesn't take one person here it takes two people or more to sustain um a foundation you know and not saying it like more as in like outside intimate relationships i mean like everybody being on board and everybody does not have to like your relationship but they have to respect it okay so that's where you were in the past so i see the progression here coming into the present moment with the two of cups you know it's like you have taken um you're at the point where you are in control of your emotions you realize what it takes to um to have a successful relationship and that is what uh you're wanting right now okay because you have done a lot of introspection and self-reflection here with the hermit car it could be a virgo that you're dealing with as well okay lots of signs here you guys but these are just the energies that i see okay and i also feel like you know it could be that this virgo or whoever this energy is has really has is is really taking the time to sit back and think about you know what really needs to be done what can be done to fix it what can be done to reconcile um the differences if if it's not even to bring the relationship back together somebody has you know either you or the other person is very aware of yourself 
or in the circumstances like I don't feel like either one of you is you know truly truly blaming each other at this point um, there may still be some issues where you guys have not communicated because the page of swords really is not um, a big communicator like vocal what they do is they they figure out the best way to approach a subject or a situation just by observing and that's why a lot of people call a page of swords a stalker card because they don't really verbalize you know right away what it is that they intend to do or, or what they think is best you know I feel like this person whoever um, either you or the other person is it's like one of you here I'm looking with the at the bottom of the deck here with the ace of cups page of cups in uh, the hierophant somebody here whether you're the other person was loving too much giving too much the other person was not giving enough at least that's what was felt in the relationship and they really felt like they weren't doing anything wrong because that's just the way they do things okay so I feel like that had a big you know role in the relationship whatever happened here between the two of you okay but here you are in the center of the reading with the Queen of Wands honey okay this is somebody that is very very intuitive and she follows her heart falling under the the high priest is clarifying that four swords she follows her heart she does what she feels like she instinctually needs to do and here you sit with the Queen of Wands okay this is in your present position very attractive um very confident confident in, in who you are look at that could very well be a leo that you're dealing with oh yeah you know what path it is that you need to take at this point which way you need to go you know this with the sign and the two of wands here it's like you you were totally woke right now totally woke Sorry, my phone's ringing. But you know which way you want to go and you know which path to follow. And I feel like you are following a path to lead you to um, great abundance here with the King of Coins being here. Now, let me just tell you that we have the King of Coins here. And then we have the King of Swords over here clarifying this by the cups. Now, this King of Coins could very well be the same person as a king of, as a king of swords um but they were the king of swords in the past you know very kind of stoic and not not very forthcoming with their emotions you know and now they may sit here as a king of coins you know somebody that is very family oriented very you know just want to to provide not just physically material things but emotions as well you know they this is like a very well-rounded king here the king of coins okay and if that's not the per other person that you're dealing with then this is you just taking control over your life taking control over your finances taking control over what you do for a living you know just being very confident and um, active in your situation we have the six of swords and the four of wands clarifying the king of coins okay so what this tells me is that you are moving you and, and I feel like this is for the both of you whoever it is that you're dealing with both of you guys are want to move you know just get rid of that the tension that was between the two of you 
um, kind of get out of that head space of what happened in the past and just wanting stability. And I also feel like that, you know, this is, this is telling me that somebody here is wanting to bring this connection back together. Wanted to bring this connection back together here. And this is in the present. This is in the present. But I think somebody's having a hard time letting go of what actually happened, the betrayal that they felt. Um, you know, somebody's really, really focused on their own ego here with the devil and the ten of swords here. And they're really not seeing things clearly at this point. They, they also are having trouble, you know, just putting their emotions out there. And I feel like that's the other person here. Um, we have Gemini here. We have Capricorn, Pisces energy. Okay. But, you know, somebody's having a hard time just kind of relaxing and just letting things go, you know, go as they should trying to fight God, trying to fight the universe, trying to fight the energies that are propelling, um, trying to propel this relationship forward into a positive direction here, okay? Now, what we have coming up in the future is the Six of Cups. And that is, you know, not only gaining balance emotionally because six is a balanced number, but it's like taking into account what actually happened in the past, um, realizing that, yeah, maybe some things weren't good, but this is a person that I had a very deep, strong connection with. Now we have three kings, okay? I feel very strongly Leo is in your reading, um, but, and it could be, two people, could even be three people. You may have several suitors, you know, whether it's man or woman, that um, that is looking, you know, to be in your life. Now, this King of Swords, if, if this is three people, the King of Swords would be um, somebody in your past, okay? The King of coins could be somebody that is currently, you know, you're looking at, you're thinking about Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, but I feel like this is the same person because the five of cups is thinking about the past. Okay. And the king of coins is being clarified by the six of swords, which is you've come out of something horrible that you experience because in the six of swords you have you have to have gone through something terrible to want to get out of it and so that indicates somebody from the past as well okay and then with the king of wands sitting on the six of cups the six of cups is you know past memories thinking about somebody that you felt like was a soulmate you know, so I feel like this is like this person's different energies at different times. They're feeling very passionate about starting something new with you here with the King of Wands and the Ace of Wands sitting on top of the Six of Cups. They feel that soulmate energy with you as well. We have Scorpio here also. Okay. So let's go on and see what else we got coming up for the future with this Four of Cups. I feel like this Four of Cups is um, is you. This is Moon and Cancer. Um, but I feel like, you know, at this point, as, I, as I'm getting ready to say that I turned the world card over on it, at this point, you are looking at this situation as if it's done, it's over. Um, you know, the whatever happened, happened. You know, when I'm over it, I'm done with it. 
there's got to be something better out there is the way I feel that um, you will be going into the future thinking here with the world card and justice. Like it's only right that you just put the past behind you and start over again doing something totally new. We see the fool right here taking a leap of faith, doing something completely separate and totally new from this past connection. I feel like it's, it's like the way that you're moving. Okay. And then we have the wheel over here which is turning in your favor. The wheel brings about good things. This is Jupiter. Jupiter brings in things really fast, but they can also be fleeting, okay? So there's an opportunity for you in the future for love, for growth. Also, whereas you were giving so much in the past, I feel like now you've learned, you've learned how to temper yourself, how to brace yourself um, and not, you know, just rush in lending your emotions to people that don't necessarily deserve, you know, the extent of your love that you were showing them. You know, you have to kind of step back and let people, you know, show you what they have. Okay. So Aries, that is what I have for you for the month of December and I'll be speaking with you guys soon.